we are here with Kia's latest new vehicle, the 2020 Kia Telluride. Now, if the timing of this vehicle seems somewhat analogous to another Korean large SUV that's coming out, that's because this and the Hyundai Palisade share a platform and share a powertrain. But there's a lot to differentiate these two, starting with the styling. Now, the Telluride has much more rugged styling of the two. From the side, it actually looks a lot like a Range Rover with very vertical sides and a very flat front. One of the things that we really like about this car are these stacked headlights. They give it a lot of rugged look and dimension. And as we move across here, you see Kia's signature grille, as well as Telluride in large leathers across the front of the hood. Uh, on the sides, we have 20-inch black alloy wheels. 18-inch wheels are also available. Those are the standard wheel. Um, but we would definitely suggest going for the larger wheel because even these, they have a little bit of trouble filling the wheel well. Now, out back, styling a little bit more subdued, but still some things that we like especially the tail lights here, which come in nice rings around and can be seen from the sides of the vehicle as well. The power tailgate actually has two speed settings. So standard race setting takes about six seconds, but Kia says you can turn it down to 4.5 seconds using the multimedia screen. Behind the third row, 21 cubic feet of cargo space, and behind the second row, 46 cubic feet. But what makes this piece unique is that the cargo floor is actually pretty versatile. Under, underneath it, you have secured storage, and this is large enough to fit a backpack or a large purse, something like that that you'd want to keep hidden. This floor also can stand up like this if you don't need to keep it covered, and it just opens up the space even more. And if you don't like that, you can even take the floor, slide it all the way down here so it's out of the way, and that gives you even more vertical storage space. Much like the Hyundai Palisade, the Telluride's interior also impressive, though it does have a bit more of a rugged motif that better matches the car's exterior. Materials, very good. Suede headliner, really nice leather on the seats. Now, this wood might look and feel real, but it's actually simulated as is the metal. But they've done such a good job that it's kind of hard to tell. Up top here, an available 10.25 inch touchscreen, as well as a seven inch screen in the instrument panel. Now the seven inch display actually powers what Kia is calling their blind spot view monitor. And if that sounds kind of like Honda's lane watch, it is. However, one big difference, instead of having to look here, they actually display the camera right in front of you so you don't have to take your eyes down to the right. The Telluride second and third rows are also a highlight. Both are sized so that they can fit adult passengers. And there's a few interesting features in the second row, starting with ventilated seats. And that's something that you usually only find in the front row vehicles. Having the second row is something that I really appreciate as a passenger. Another thing to note about the Telluride that's also true about the Palisade, they moved up the USB ports so they're easier to access. So you'll notice them in the seat backs here. And then the third row, they're above the cup holders. So that Kia says they're easier to reach that way and then children can find them easier when they're trying to power devices. The Telluride also comes with an available all-wheel drive system that comes with an electro-hydraulic coupling. And what that does is it allows the front wheels to kind of disconnect from the rear wheels. And what they do is, for their six different drive modes, there's actually different torque splits. So, for example, in lock mode, it will send half the power to the front, half the power to the rear. But if you're in eco mode, it sends all the power to the front wheels because that's more efficient. The final area that's worth talking about the Telluride, safety features. Now, Kia has really upped the standard safety features on the Telluride. It includes both front and rear automatic braking, lane keep assist, blind spot warnings, adaptive cruise control down to a stop, rear exit assist, rear occupant detection with ultrasonic sensors, the list goes on and on. It's one of the most extensive standard safety features list I've ever seen on a vehicle. On top of that, you can even add a highway driver assistance package. So that means if you're on a federal highway, it can actually tell when the speed limits are changing and will adjust the speed of the vehicle to match those speed limits. The Telluride will go on sale in spring of 2019, but we don't quite know pricing yet. If you do want to know pricing and other details about the Telluride, head over to cars.com.